Alright guys, name is Tyler aka Nanogenics and today, such a strange video. One, it's like super early slash late for me right now, so if it looks like I'm tired, that's why. Two, I thought I might, if I'm covering something that is similar to this sort of news, I thought that it might be, you know, for like a Broly, or a Gogeta, or a new Vegeta, or a new Goku, or something like that, but instead, here we are. And I'm talking about an LR Trunks and Mai. So uh, a couple shout outs really quick before we hop into the video. This is actually from the Dogon official Twitter account. As of filming this right now, um, at the time you're watching, it's been uploaded to the database, but it's not been up uploaded to the database. It's not there yet. This is literally like a preview from the official Dogon Twitter account, which is, it's so interesting that this is this is how this is, is happening right now. But uh, it's new LR Trunks and Mai. And they look awesome. I'm not gonna lie. They look awesome. It's just, it's this strange feeling because it's it was just this thing that I felt like was an absolute sort of just big setup to just full on just boom LR Broly, LR Gogeta or TUR Broly, TUR Gogeta or whatever. So I, I just feel so strange covering this right now. And of course, for some people right now, I really told you so. And it's like, I mean, dude, why wouldn't they drop these on the release date of their new movie anyway? So it's an LR Trunks of Mai. What you're looking at right now is a um, Time Travelers category LR. So they're literally um, the same category as the new Goku Black. Uh, so shout out to, as I already said, the Dokkan official Twitter page, and then also to DD Rose 2 over on the subreddit for the translation here. Um, huge shout out to DD Rose 2. So a link to the post uh, where that comment is on will be down below in the description, as well as a link to the Dogon official Twitter account. So let's actually hop in, let's talk about it. So uh, time travel category key plus four, HP attack and defense plus 130%. Uh, but also gives super STR types uh, key plus four, HP attack and defense plus 100%. It's so late slash early, I'm actually questioning myself and I wanna make sure I said this, this leader ability correct. Time Traveler's key plus four, HP attack and defense plus 130%. I don't know if I said 100 or 130, but it's 130%. Um, super techs, they of course have a 12 key and an 18 key, they are beautiful. Some of the better, I mean, you're gonna, I'm gonna literally sound like a broken record at this point, but it's just like the super attack just keep getting better and better and better. And it's just it, it like, it just, it, they're doing such a good job of reenacting the actual anime. Like I even had people commenting, like I know on coolers for sure, some people were commenting that like literally this super attack looks better than the actual movie. Like there are portions of it that look better than the actual film and I'm like, you're honestly not not too close from being wrong right there. Like these are these are getting absolutely insane. But the setup with my and Trunks working together, it's so cool, man. And of course, I'm doing the classic sort of Trunks slash and explosion behind him. Like, dude, these these super attacks are like a one, man. It's 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 amazing. But anyway, the 12 key deals colossal damage with a medium chance to stun. The 18 key deals mega colossal damage with a high chance to stun and he has they have I guess I should say a very 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 cool passive so uh, it actually involves two separate categories which uh, I want to get into that in a second too talking about Z Hall uh, pretty awesome member of the community here uh, in case you guys don't know Z Hall I actually put a link to his Twitter down below too uh, but anyway let's hop into the passive and the passive on on them is increase this card's attack by 70% and for each member uh, that fits into the time travelers category uh, gain an additional attack and defense plus 10% with a cap of 70%. So if you're running a full time travelers team with them and not running just a like mono STR team, um, you which there are several STR units that do fit into the time travelers category, but you can uh, get them to a pretty pretty solid boost of 140% on, on attack, which is pretty decent but then but then if your enemy fits into the future saga category right not time travelers actually actually future then this card gains plus six key and a high chance to dodge enemy attacks that's a very cool passive i'm not gonna lie i like that passive a lot i like this card a lot which again is such a strange feeling uh, li links on them are brainiacs cold judgment dismal future prepare for battle fierce battle and legendary power yes they have fierce battle um Anyway, so what I was going to say about Z-Hall, what Z-Hall is mentioning is he he's really sort of leaning towards the fact that Broly and Gogeta are going to be dual category leads. 
and it's very possible. Now, I don't think that this passive necessarily fully directs us to thinking that cards are going to start really involving multiple categories, at least in their leader abilities. Um, and we've had that for a while, right? I mean, you could technically look at it as their leader ability boosts a category, and their leader ability then also boosts super STR, super tech, you know, whatever it might be. And of course, then we have some units that are category leads that don't boost anything else, they just boost that category, like Super Vegito. Physical Super Vegito does not boost Fizz, he just boosts Majin Buu Saga. Uh, but what I, what I, why I feel so weird about this is because I'm actually kind of excited about this unit. They're a very pretty unit. They're obviously summonable. They're way too good to be free to play. They cost 77. Like, just look at the unit. Look at everything we've talked about today in this video. They're going to be something we're up to summon on. Probably going to be your typical, um, probably not, not double SSR rates. It will probably be your sort of regular just LR banner. Um, but it's just so weird because I thought I would be covering something for the, for a Broly and a Gogeta card and I'd be super hyped about pulling on that, uh, that instead we're getting this. And if we we're going to get a unit that was going to follow, fall in line with the new TUR, so the new Goku Black, I honestly really wanted to merge the Masu, but now that I've seen this Mayan Trunks, I'm like, I really want this Mayan Trunks now too. So it's just, it's just so, it's just so weird, man. It's, it's, it's hype, but it's weird. Like, that's really all I'm going to say. But anyways, guys, there you go. That is today's video. That's really all I had for you guys. Uh, I, I'm i excited for this unit. But as I just said, in a, in a weird way. But anyways, guys, it's late. It's slash early. I'm about to go back to sleep now. <laughs> and uh, if you're new to the channel, you enjoyed today's video, consider going down there hitting that subscribe button. Joining the hashtag NLFAM today. We're on that road to 350,000 subs here on the channel. So consider joining the NLFAM today. Consider a like button if you guys are excited about any trunks and a my. And of course, guys, have a great, great day. Keep on keeping on nanogenic stuff. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.